In this video, we're going to have a look at the surface area of a cone. So we're all familiar with the ice cream cone over here. And so we're going to be talking about that now. But don't let this ice cream cone confuse you. The cone that we're going to be looking at, the bottom part is going to be filled in. Okay, so it's it's not going to be empty at the bottom. So if we had to look at and then if we had to look at this, remember, we said that surface means on the outside. Okay, so if you had to pick this cone up and you had to move it around, what kind of shape would you have at the bottom over here? Well, that's just a circle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. But now the interesting part is how do we work out the area of this triangular part? So all of this over here, for example, because this goes all the way around the cone. And that's quite a, f a weird shape. So what you have to do is the following. What I want you to do is imagine yourself cutting a line through here and then folding this side and that side back onto the page. What kind of shape would you form? Would you agree that it would look like this? Like this blue shape over here? And if not, just pause the video and think about it for a bit. So you take some scissors and you cut along this line here and then you fold that half and that half back. Now obviously a real ice cream cone would probably break if you had to do that. But just imagine you were able to roll it backwards. It would form this kind of shape over here. Now I don't know about you, but I don't know what that shape is. And there's a huge mathematical way that we can work out the formula for that. But they only teach you that typically in like a university kind of level. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remember that the formula for that part over there is going to be pi times by r, which is the radius of the original cone, times by s. Now this s is the slanted height of the cone. So that's this part over here. So that part there that I've shown with the arrow, that is the slanted height. And so to work out the circle at the bottom, we said we're going to use pi r squared. And to work out the triangular part, so all the other parts, we're going to use pi r S, where S is that slanted height over there. And so the total surface area for a cone will simply be pi r squared plus pi r s. Now what if in a test they give you a question on a party hat for example. So we know that a party hat, just like this ice cream cone, is completely empty at the bottom. So which part over here would we have to leave out? Well well done if you said the pi r squared part, because if you have a party hat, there is no circle at the bottom, so there wouldn't. So on the surface, there wouldn't be a, cir um, a circle. And imagine if there was a circle, you wouldn't be able to wear the party hat. And so you would remove that part from the formula, and you would just use that part over there. If, however, there is a circle at the bottom, then you must use the complete formula, which I'll put over here once more: pi r squared plus pi r s.